So we're here. Remember? Uh oh. Uh huh. Close enough, I guess. It's not like Link even howls it that well in the first place. This is a puzzle a lot of people say is really hard. It's definitely one of the more challenging puzzles in the game. And I'm going to try to do it without looking at the walkthrough. Because I've done that once. Not on memorization either. Because I don't remember it all. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred group. So basically, one guy always goes in the same direction you go. And another guy always goes in the opposite direction you go. And if they, and if one of the guys jumps on you, then it's game over. And yeah, I remember this much from memory. See, like, if I was to go forward right now, then that would be game over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hate how their butts are so rusty. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's... Yeah, okay, so now we go again. Now let's go left. Like, I'll be able to tell like when we have them perfectly. No, we want them going this way. Yeah, okay, I got it. I think. Well, not quite. Yeah. Now we gotta make one of them go up there, yep. So now, here, and then make them go the same way. I mean, go toward the same way. It's not that difficult. I mean, I know part of it is actually based on my memorization. I've done it so many times, subconsciously probably, but I don't think it's that difficult. I, mean, I couldn't do it on my own the first time. Go now to the sacred place, beast. Yeah, I am a beast. We owe passage to the sacred grove. And it's a master sword. Get it, Link. To get my guidebook because I'm gonna need it now because there is a ton to do. And that is what turned us into a wolf. <laughs> Ah, we mixed up right enough time music. I love ya. The sword accepted you as its master. Well, good. Because <laughs> if it didn't, then we'd have a very rough time beating the game. Because the, uh, the Ordon sword that we had before does not work on any of the bosses that are coming up. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. So your accusation of accusation of Zant was wrong. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. Probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Yeah, since Zam was kind enough to give this to us, we, sh we should be thankful and use it all we can. So now we can freely transform between a wolf and a human, and that will be useful. Listen, Link, I got a little favor to ask. 
Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. So we gotta find this Mirror of Twilight, but it could be anywhere, even somewhere we've already been. But I don't know, it's a huge world, where could it be? Yeah, so we got a bunch to do now. First thing to do, get some golden bugs that somehow found their way right here, but we can actually only get one of two. And uh, that might make no sense to you. You know, how can we only get one of two? But yeah, right there. And we don't need our boomerang anymore. We can use the claw shot and get it easier. And we got the male snail. Oh man, there's just so much to do. So first thing we had to do is backtrack. And we got some bombs. Well, we don't need the bow and arrow combo, so... I wonder if you can, like, put the bombs on... Yeah, you can actually do that. Well... Wow. But we don't need to. This first thing we do is right here. And we get the first of many... Well, first we get that. And we get our first taste of transforming into wolves. So this is two of 60. Yeah, if you get 20, you get an empty bottle. But if you get 60, you get a special reward. And this is called a dig cavern. There are several of these in the game. And these are really the most like, glaring of all the, uh, you know, 100% treasure chests. And every single one of these, there's a treasure chest that wields 100 rupees, I think. Like, in this one, we just gotta kill all the enemies. Usually that's the guideline for a lot of them. But when I actually think that this one has a heart piece. Yeah, some of them have heart pieces. You know, it's like the, the, uh, sea chests in Wind Waker. Like, you know, most of them have rupees, but there are a few of them that have hard pieces. Or, it's more like the, uh, the platforms in Wind Waker. That's what I compare these to. And you don't have to be a wolf here, so I don't know why I am. I mean, yeah, you get the special move as a wolf, but if you're Link, you can use items. Wolf Link should definitely be a part of Super Smash Brothers in the future. I mean, if they add Zero Suit Samus, why not add Wolf Link, a character that's more established as an attacker? So we killed every single enemy, and yes, we did. I believe that this is a hard piece, am I right? But I just want to make sure... Yes, I did. The game automatically switches it to the Master Sword for you. Good. <laughs> we got Heart Piece. So now, what to do? Well, the game, uh, the way the walkthrough is written in the game is, ev like, as far as, like, everything you can do, they do it, like, chronologically. Like, they start in Ordon, and then they end up in, uh, Lake Hylia. So that's the way that the guidebook does it. So that's what I do. You might be saying, oh, is it, wouldn't it be a hassle to go all the way back to Ornon? Well, not really. Because of warping, yes, we can warp anytime we want. Because where we're going is actually a dig cavern. Because yes, that's the only thing left to do in Ordon Village. I, just one more treasure chest. Which I'm doing, because we don't really have anything else to do in this video. But yeah, it says, Purple Rupee, 20. Ah, back in Ordon Village. Probably the last time we're ever going to be here. So, say your goodbyes. Or just scare people. Although I suppose it's good that the rascals didn't get eaten. 
On the day he came back to town, I wanted to congratulate him. Something tells me that we're gonna get eaten. Well, you're chickens. So, you know, that's kind of your fate. And so we should say an old hello to Fado. But nope. Yes, yeah, so you can really... Whoa! So yeah, where you actually want to go is the barn. We can just let the goats eat a messy looking letter like this. So what is it? Why, it's a dig cavern. There's actually something a lot more special here than a uh, 50, than a purple ruby that's worth 20. Hey. Yes, yeah. Yeah, right there, right there. Okay, okay. Rats, please do not mess me up here. Because this is something that is very rare. Gold tube jelly. And this is actually the easiest one to get, because all the other ones... Oh, man. Yeah, because, well, you know, we'll, we'll save it for later, I guess. Because basically what it does, it refills all your health and gives you a temporary attack boost. But all the other ones are, like, near other chews, and they mix together. But this one is all on its own. There are no other chews for it to mix in with. So, yeah, not only do you get the 50 rupee worth 20, you also get all these pots to break. And, yeah, I don't even think that you have to kill all the rats. You just, uh, light these up. And speaking of lighting up, before we move on to, uh, before we move on to getting the, uh, you know, I think that we should get that one last treasure chest that we missed. And that'll be the end of this video. Just because, well, unless, yeah, there are actually some postals and fair on woods that we want to get. So, yeah. I think. Yeah. So how about this video ends right here and I will meet you at the, uh, well, wherever I want to, but it'll be somewhere in Fairon Woods. Bye.